Today on Growth Shares, we're going to analyze and see whether Unilever is a great long-term investment. As part of the consumer defensive sector, the data and corresponding grades will reflect that so you can compare with other companies in different sectors. This analysis is divided into three factors, the business, the stock, and the price, with each weighted according to their importance. Each factor has a set of metrics which delve deeper into each factor. They are also weighted based on importance. Both the factors and metrics are given a grade from 1 at the low end to 100 at the high end, with 51 being considered average. Most companies I'll analyze in this channel will hover around that 51 average, since most companies are indeed average long-term investments. In order to be considered a great long-term investment, a company would need to receive a final grade of 81 or higher. When all three factors are added together, we'll get a company's final grade, which is also graded from 1 to 100. Keep in mind that this analysis is for those looking to invest for the long term. I'm a huge advocate of using data to determine an investment's viability, and wherever it leads, I'll follow. Please read the disclaimer and pause this video if needed. The business factor receives 45% of this company's overall analysis, by far the largest given allocation. Since I look at the viability of a company as a long-term investment, analyzing how it operates and generates positive cash flow is essential in determining whether to invest in it or not. There are eight metrics that make up the business factor. These four metrics combine for 45% and they tell us how bright of a future the company has. These three metrics combine for 35% and they tell us how well the company is doing today. And market dominance at 20% tells us how well the company is doing against competitors and potential rivals. If you want to know more about each metric, I have made a video detailing every metric. Link in the description below. Here are the grades for each business metric. And here is the company's business grade. 10 and below making it a failed business and 91 or higher, making it an extraordinary business. The stock factor receives 35% of this company's overall analysis, the second most allocated factor. Has the company's stock performed well enough to invest in? This factor mainly deals with what others think the company's worth, based on its market action. There are five metrics that make up the stock factor. These two metrics combine for 45%, and they tell us how reliable the company's stock is. These three metrics combine for 55%, and they tell us what others think of the company's stock. If you want to know more about each metric, I have made a video detailing every metric. Link in the description below. Here are the grades for each stock metric. And here's the company's stock grade, with 10 or below making it a failed stock and 91 or higher making it an extraordinary stock. The price factor receives 20% of this company's overall analysis, the smallest allocation, yet something most investors tried to determine. Price per share isn't everything, but it does determine the best price at which to invest. However, looking solely at the price regardless of whether the company has a good business or a good stock isn't a good idea, especially if you're looking to invest in this company for the long term. The only metric that makes up the price factor is the company's intrinsic value, otherwise known as its fair value price per share. Here's the company's intrinsic value and its price grade, with 10 or below making it expensive, 51 making it fairly valued, and 91 or higher making it a bargain. Before we look at this company's final grade, consider becoming a Patreon member for only $2 per month. As a member, you'll receive a spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description below. The final grade is the sum of all three factors, calculated into a single number graded from 1 to 100, with 10 or below being a failed company to 91 and higher being an extraordinary long-term investment. Here's the company's final grade and what kind of investment it is. Undoubtedly, you may disagree with this analysis and the grades for this company. Often, owning this stock may give you some bias whether you agree or disagree with this analysis. I look solely at the data and nothing else. There's enough out there to create a narrative and picture of where a company is headed. The grades, factors, and metrics allocation was determined through backtesting and optimal analysis on how to properly look at a company as a long-term investment. 
I'll be sure to update this analysis if any news or events drastically change the grades I've given this company. So look out for that. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you agree or disagree with this analysis? Leave your comment below. If you're looking to advertise your business product or service in a future video, you can email me here. In order to filter out spam, write this phrase as the title of your email. And as always, take care of your money.